Okay, the final step in detailing this, we'll be putting on the footboards on the end. And uh, th we made these earlier and weathered them with the car. Um, so to do that, we're going to need uh, another item I forgot on the bill of material, which I'll update when this is all done. But we need some evergreen 20,000 by 60,000 strip styrene. We just need to take a piece of this out of here um, and get it weathered up. And so I've got my, uh, again, my three colors of the Vallejo uh, paints here, the light rust, medium rust, and dark rust. And we're just going to weather this up on three sides. We're going to leave one of the backs, uh, or one of the big sides here, uh, with no paint on it. So we're just going to go ahead and weather this quick. Once the uh, 20 by 60,000 styrene piece is weathered, we need to cut it up uh, to make the pieces for the uh, footboard brace. And, and uh, per side, we're going to need to cut um, three pieces that are 0.36 inches long, three pieces that are 0.34 inches long, and three pieces that are 0.22 inches long. And then I have a piece of styrene here that I'm just using as a jig. Uh, and this, this is a 0.72 inches wide and then it's just you know a little wider than the car um, it can be anything you, you don't even have to make this but I, I just have this because I make a lot of cars um, so then you get your um, also get your pieces that you made for your uh, footboards I have one mounted on here already but I'll show you how uh, to mount the other side um, I also have a piece a couple pieces just scrap um, foam blocks laying around um, that I use to uh, support the car on when I'm putting these uh, on the end of it. So I'll get it all set up and I'll, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, what I've done here is I just set these blocks here on the workbench. Um, I got one long one and the two short ones. Basically, this is the spot where I'm going to put the coupler uh, pocket that sticks out, and then this is just going to support the car. And when I do this, uh, and you don't have a running board on, it's easy to set the car on there. But the reason why I've got these three pieces here is because when you have a running board on one end of the car, um, that you can set that uh, you can still set the car up on, and then you can make a space here for the running board to sit in, and then the coupler pocket on the other end. So uh, since I'm working on this end of the car, I'm just going to leave that set up just like that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece I made for my uh, uh, my jig here. And I'm just going to lay it on the car and I just butt it up to that bottom angle. Now, if you didn't have an angle reinforcing on the top, you're going to have to make that, that 125 thousandths taller. Um, so you're looking about 845 uh, would be your height there. And then I just went ahead and I just marked all these, uh, the ends of all these with a pencil here. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to leave this on here. And we're going to take and uh, a little piece of scrap paper here. I've got. I'm just going to put a little pile of the gel glue on there. And I've got uh, just a toothpick here. And I'm going to take and put a uh, just a couple dots of glue right down the center of the outside brace here. All right, maybe I'll turn this here so we can. I'm just going to run a few dots on this uh, outside. And then I'm going to take one of the pieces of the 20 by 60,000 styrene that we cut. This is the, the one that's 0.36 inches long. And I'm just going to butt it up to the bottom of this jig and then push it down in that glue that. Uh, we just put on there. And 
Now I'm going to do the opposite side one here, the same thing. Again, take another 0.36 piece of uh, 20 by 60 thousand styrene. And basically those are, those are just centered on those boards. I'm just kind of sighting them on there. And now let's tie it up to that brace as well. Now uh, we can take this off of here. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to put a dot above all those pencil lines on all, every one of those braces there. And now I'm going to take the footboard that we made earlier and I'm going to get it centered on there And it should be tight down on top of each, on the end of each one of those braces there. And you can check it to make sure it's vertical. Or perpendicular, I'm sorry. Now we're going to take some more glue, <coughs> excuse me, and we're going to put it down the center brace, same as we did on the two outside ones. Now we're going to take our last 0 .360 piece of styrene and butt it up to the bottom of this footboard and push it tight, send it on that vertical uh, brace there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little bit of glue. I'm going to take some of the short uh, um, Point uh, two two zero styrene. Also, <clears throat> no, I didn't do it. I forgot to do it in the ends of these. But uh, to make it a little easier to touch these up, if you want to put a little dot of glue, I'll have to get in there now on mine with a fine brush. But uh, just put a little bit of that. Uh, just this is just the dark rust Vallejo paint, and you can take the ones. Uh, the exposed ends for example like now this piece is going to go right here I could have painted this end this end didn't need to be painted because we won't see this end up here but uh, on the ones that we just put on but like on this next one that's going to go sit on here so this end will be exposed uh, it's not too big a deal we still have to do some touching up on these but it will allow you to get not to get so close to the wood so you can just dip that in in a little bit of that dark brown so you get it uh, so you get it painted there, and you then it won't be so uh, so hard to touch that up. Anyways, take the uh, take some glue and put it on the unpainted side of our um, piece of two two point uh, two two uh, inch long styrene, and I'm just going to set it on. I'm, I'm centering it on the piece that we just put on. I'm just lightly touching it on that bottom of that board there so it kind of holds itself. And I'm looking to make sure that it's it's perpendicular and vertical. And then, oops. Guess I didn't get enough glue on that one. This will become a lot stronger when all the pieces are glued together here. And then we're just going to do the same for the next two here. Probably should have waited a little bit longer for that board to dry on there, but it's okay. 
trying to get this uh, showing to you here. It'll be fine once it all dries up. Yeah. I got to put some more glue on the bottom of that piece since I broke it free. Okay, so now I've got, as you can see, I've got all those pieces glued on the bottom there. And I just got them centered on these pieces that we put on earlier. And then they're vertical uh, to the car there. 